Welcome to our CCPS Science Review Lab. Today, we're going to be taking a tour of our solar system, and we're going to do it so that we can apply a lot of the scientific principles that we've been talking about to our solar system. This is going to help us understand, A, what happens out there in our solar system, but it's also going to help us understand how to break down questions and use the models that we have to answer questions about our solar system. So we're going to look at it from the terms of what makes sense. We're going to start off by looking at this model of our solar system. Right here, we have our sun. You know that differs from the other bodies that are out here because the sun is a star, as opposed to these guys out here, which are planets. Now that we can say that we've got within our solar system, we've got a star, we've got other celestial bodies called planets. You also know that if these planets have smaller celestial bodies revolving around them, then you know those are satellites or also called moons. Okay, and we're most familiar with our moon because we see it as it goes through its phases throughout the course of the month as it revolves around Earth. Now, we've also got this asteroid belt here. This asteroid belt sort of acts like a divider for our solar system. Closer to the sun, we have the inner planets. Further from the sun, we have the outer planets, also called gas giants. We know, based on what we've learned about the universal law of gravitation, that the two Asp two aspects that impact the amount of gravitational pull on objects are their mass and the distance from the other object. So in this case, we've got the sun and each of these planets. We know the sun is pulling on these planets. Each of these planets is pulling on the sun. Now, based on their mass and their distance is where their orbit came from and their orbit is the path that they follow. So the planets that are further away, we know if we start thinking about time and what we consider a year, one year is one revolution around the sun. These planets over here that are further away are going to have a larger orbit and they are going to have a longer year than these planets that are closer, right? They have a smaller orbit and it's going to take them less time to travel around the sun. Okay, so when we're talking about the atmosphere of these planets, these inner planets have a much heavier atmosphere than these further away planets. And another thing that we can talk about is the temperature of these planets. It would make sense that the planets that are closer are going to have a higher temperature than the planets that are further away. No different than if you take your hand close to fire, it's going to be burnt. If you have it further away, it's obviously going to feel cooler. So lots of times if we're trying to make sense of what goes on in terms of our solar system, if we look carefully at these models or these pictures that they're showing us, and we start thinking about location and size and mass, and we can figure out some of the answers to the questions that they're going to ask us. I'd like you to do something similar. I want you to think about Mercury and think about Saturn. Think about their size compared to each other and compared to the sun. Think about where they're located. Would you label each one differently? Would you Is one an inner planet and one an outer planet? Is one maybe cooler than the other? Is one have maybe a heavier atmosphere than the other? Based on what you know about their location, how would you describe these planets? Show what you know. <laughs> 